Nigeria has shown that we are capable of successfully implementing large-scale fortification programs. We've been able to put in place both a policy and legal framework that is able to promote food fortification. We estimate that at least one in two of the world's children suffers from hidden hunger, deficiencies in vitamins and other essential nutrients. Large-scale fortification and biofortification can help us to address this issue. First you'll see there is a high level of accomplishment to report on since the first summit, 11 countries covering 215 million people passed fortification legislation since Arusha. And if pending legislation passes in India on edible oil and milk, we can add another 500 million people to this tally. We, need, we definitely need to find a solution that's fast and furious. So food fortification, number one, it's cost effective. Number two, it's evidence-based. And number three, it's very resilient. The priorities for the local production of fortified food, a great opportunity to create jobs for young people and the women. There is no reason why fortified rice should not be cooked in the best kitchens in the world. It can't harm and it can increase the nutrition value, so why not, right? Let's see what the guests think about this.